So a second bid axe just hit a Bitcoin block. Now, if you guys remember, the first time this happened was back in July of last year when a person solo mining with a Bidax Supra managed to hit the block and earn the entire Bitcoin block reward. Now, since then, of course, people were wondering like, hey, was that a one-off? Was it just a fluke? Well, since then, there have been some other solo miners who've also hit blocks, but they've actually had a lot more hash rate. Well, it looks like it just happened again. Another person running just a few of these bid axes just hit a block again. And it turns out the one that happened to hit the block was an older bid axe ultra with only 500 giga hash of hash rate. And on top of that, the current Bitcoin mining difficulty is 112 T. This bid axe managed to hit 791 T, significantly higher than even what was necessary to hit the block in the first place. And since then, of course, everybody's been super excited. There's been a bunch of posts on Twitter. Uh, I know a lot of the places that sell the bid axes have been getting a bunch of orders and selling out. Uh, if you want one, I'll put a link down in the video description to where you can order one as well. You may even want to consider ordering multiple bid axes. I've actually got a number of them here at home as well. It is kind of addictive. <laughs> but either way, it's awesome to see that more and more people now are hitting these Bitcoin block rewards. And honestly, I expect this to only continue and happen more often. These bid axes don't require a lot of power the way like a huge, traditional miner would, and they're really quiet in operation as well. Now that said, statistically, the likelihood of uh, Bidax hitting a block is going to be very low, but again, it can and does happen, and I expect it to continue doing so as more and more people continue to, well, pick up Bidaxes here and get them installed and up and running. There's also continued development with multi-chip Bidaxes like the Bidax GT, which is in development, a dual-chip Bidax. You've got people working on four-chip variants of the Bidaxes. There's six-chip and eight-chip versions as well if you want an all-in-one unit instead of getting multiple individual ones like this. But I think this really highlights the power of open source technology where people can basically just kind of build their own versions here like this. You can modify the display, modify the hardware, modify the case, hook it up to solar power, immerse it in oil. Like you can do all sorts of wild things because it's, well, open source technology, right? And so if you want one, I'll put links down in the video description to more information where if you would like to build one, you can do that. If you'd like to order one, you can do that as well. Uh, I do think that the shipping times are starting to get delayed just because a lot of people are getting orders uh, with these. It happens every time uh, one of these things hit a block. The current latest and greatest version of the Bidax is the Bidax Gamma. These ones can easily mine north of one terahash. And as I mentioned before, there's now multi-chip versions coming out. Uh, people are working on open sourced hardware versions with different chips, not just the Bitmain chip. So there's a lot of stuff that continues to be in development. So it's definitely uh, an exciting time uh, in the world of open source Bidax, or I guess Bitcoin mining. <laughs> but with that said, just want to do a quick video as far as a heads up. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it on Twitter. But in case you haven't, yes, yet another Bidax just hit a block.